Hey, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what's in the bag. Today, we're gonna be looking at Distinct Visual Solutions Pelican case, not a bag. As you guys know, here at XR, we have numerous team members and not just team members, but people in the building who are creatives themselves. So today, we're gonna be reviewing what he carries out in the field. As you guys can see, he has a Pelican Air 1615 made in the US. Man, this thing is hefty and can probably endure a lot. First, we're gonna start off with something that I snuck in there. Nikon Z6 with a 24-70 f4. Um, the standard kit that comes um, with the Nikon Z6, definitely recommend it for those who are beginning, probably the Z6 II. Uh, it's definitely a great intro camera and will get the job done, especially with the 24-70 with such a versatile lens. This is definitely the camera to get you started. Up next, something else that I snuck in there was definitely Profoto. If you guys aren't using Profoto, I definitely suggest using Profoto. Another good brand, just if you're getting started, is um, Young Nuo or uh, Newer. They're really good, but if you're a professional and you're looking for quality, consistent, and reliable lights, I definitely recommend Profoto. But jumping into the big guns, we are looking at the Z9. My goodness, is this a beast of a camera. Some of its competitors is the A9, um, the Canon R6, coming in at 45 megapixels. Absolutely crazy. You guys can definitely check out other videos and reviews on this camera uh, to learn more information, the weight, the, the size, the price. But if you guys ever get a chance to get your hands on a Z9, I highly recommend playing with it for a day, having the pro body, such lightweight, such a great camera. Coming in with the 70 to 200 2.8, this lens is extremely good for events or uh, wildlife. This is definitely a good one to have in the bag. Really happy that Bernie has this one. It's definitely been of use here. Um, the team has definitely used it. I absolutely adore this lens, especially with the um, third ring being the aperture. Me being a film guy, it's just something that I'm used to. I will say though, Sony did something amazing with the G Master 2s and that, that click. You don't hear it here, but other than that, that's just a personal preference. Such an amazing lens, comes with a lens hood, LED screen, why, don't know. Doesn't really serve a purpose. And then some custom function buttons, which are really great. Automatic and manual, and then the focal distance. Next lens that Distinct Visual Solution has in their Pelican case is another monstrous lens. Comes with a lens hood, the amazing S-Line 85mm 1.2. My, my, this lens. Absolutely beautiful. The results, oh, mind-blowing. I, I don't really have anything bad to say about this lens. Um, you have your, your focus ring, the aperture, or the custom link, uh, the custom button, and the custom ring. You can set this to whatever you want it to be. Of course, the uh, automatic and manual button. But if you guys ever uh, get a chance, if you're a Nikon shooter, definitely, definitely rent the 85 1.2. Just to give it a test on the field before you spend the money, because I know this one is fairly expensive. And then we're gonna be looking at the 2472.8, the predecessor to the F4. Custom function button, display button, LCD screen. Uh, very interesting that Nikon went with the display screen on the lenses. Uh, definitely feel like they could have used that real estate space for maybe another custom uh, button or maybe just not a screen at all, you know? And then we're looking at the two-time converter uh, for the Z-mount. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I definitely recommend this. It works with all of the S-Line glass. And the real reason why this was purchased was because Bernie decided to make a really big investment, which I will showcase right now, is this monstrous 400 millimeter lens. 400 2.8 S-line lens. Where do I even start? First of all, this is like a trophy. 
Bernie said it himself. Um, <laughs> do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. Why do I want it? It's my trophy. Absolutely. If, if you're not shooting wildlife or sports, this is not the lens for you. It's not necessary to have this lens. I don't recommend it to anybody that isn't shooting wildlife or sports. Um, but hey, if, if you have if you have the funds, if you have the means for it, absolutely go for it. It's definitely really close in results to the 400 F4, um, but when it comes to Boca, you, you will see that there is a difference, and my goodness, is it a beautiful difference. We will be testing it out in the field, uh, Bernie has already taken some sample shots, but hopefully soon we'll come out with a video in regards to um, this lens being used out on the field for a sports event. But my goodness, I mean, when I first saw this, I was absolutely speechless. I said, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. 400 millimeter, 2.8 TCVRS. Here you have the filter insert, which is absolutely amazing. Um, my only concern is getting dust in there. So if you're not using it to change the filter, avoid opening this as much as possible um, because it will be a pain to clean and especially when you're not the one cleaning it, it becomes very expensive. Um, the amazing part about the 402.8 is it has a converter um, built in already. So here is the locking mechanism. It goes from a one-time converter to a 1.4 converter to give you a little bit more of a zoom. So think of it nearly close to 800 millimeters. Uh, and back to what I was saying, um, Bernie had purchased the two times converter along with the 400 millimeter lens, which I think was the smart choice because if you definitely want to get uh, not just to 800 millimeters, but to 1600, I think it's absolutely the right choice to make. The threading doesn't last very long on this lens, um, but from my understanding, maintenance isn't too difficult. I mean, you can just buy a separate piece like this. If you have the money to spend on a 400 millimeter lens, uh, you're definitely gonna have the money to replace this, which is no big deal. Lastly, we're going to be looking at this case here for the Atomos. So not only does Bernie take photo, he also does video and he bought an Atomos Ninja 5. Of course, if you are one to do video, you know that a monitor is a must. So here is the Ninja fantastic monitor. You have your headphone jack, the remote, power button, mic, line in, HDMI in, HDMI out. Fantastic stuff, super simple. Stuff you guys have already seen in plenty of other videos and reviews. This is more of a professional setup for sure, um, but I think anyone can agree that this is amazing for whatever the job calls for, whether you're doing wildlife and sports or whether you're doing um, concerts or similar events with the 70 to 200 or your standard 24 to 70, which will absolutely do anything and everything for you, whether it's portraits, um, smaller gatherings, uh, you name it, fashion shoots, fantastic versatile lens. And then the 85, my goodness. I'm, I'm just speechless with the lineup of lenses here. Obviously there's more that are missing from the bunch, but just this alone is pretty impressive to say the least. That concludes today's video for what's in your bag. Thank you again to Distinct Visual Solution and Bernie. If you guys wanna see more, let us know. See you guys in the next video. Pelican, if you're watching this video, please sponsor.